My name is Kyle Hill, and we are here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in beautiful Huntsville, Alabama, for a special three-part video series that we are calling Jedi, v <coughs> Jedi versus Sith, that we are putting on with the folks behind Star Wars Battlefront 2, the latest in the hit Battlefront series. Now, for this video series, we're taking two Star Wars cosplayers at the top of their fields and putting them through their paces in a true NASA meets Star Wars mashup to see if they can earn the robes and the armor that they wear so proudly. Here to welcome both of our contestants, we have Dr. Deborah Barnhart, the CEO of the Space and Rocket Center. Hey, Doc. Kyle, great pleasure to have you here. Perfect. Let's meet Jesse and my Lynn. I'm Mylon Sarley, and I'm cosplaying as Aiden Versio from Star Wars Battlefront 2. One of the things I really like about Aiden Versio is that she is part pilot and also part tactical badass. The Emperor is dead. We retaliate, Commander. I think I'm gonna win, honestly, because not only are there athletic challenges, which I feel like I'm gonna ace, but also I feel top notch on my Star Wars knowledge. I'm Jesse Pridemore and I'm playing Rey in Jedi vs. Sith. I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. I currently live in Los Angeles, California. I got into cosplay 18 years ago. It's pretty cool to be able to walk through Space Camp because I think it's every kid's dream to go to Space Camp. Hey, welcome to Space Camp. Great to have you. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so Dr. Barnhart, what can these two women expect from their experience here at Space Camp? You space women of tomorrow are going to be experiencing Space Camp in a way that has a little Star Wars bent to it. Thank you so much, Doctor. Now, ladies, at stake here are the ultimate bragging rights to see if you really live and breathe Star Wars. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, now, at the start of each challenge, you will have an opportunity to have a bonus, but you will really have to show the extent of your Star Wars knowledge. Let's go. For our first bonus challenge, our contestants will be answering questions in our lightsaber round. It's a time challenge where you ladies will be answering as many questions as possible during the time limit. Buzz in if you think you know the right answer. Because the questions start right now. Who is the commander of the Imperial Special Forces Unit in Inferno School? Okay. Me, I didn't dare you. That's correct. Next question, list all four playable classes in Battlefront 2. Jesse. Uh, officer, specialist, Heavy. And? Assault? Yes. Trandoshan. Tauntaun. Tauntaun. Classic Star Wars knowledge. OK, so Jesse, you got four questions correct, which means you win our bonus, which is 15 extra seconds. You get to choose which one of you goes first in our big challenge for today, and you get two extra blaster bolts. But you probably want to know why that's a big deal. So let's take a look at our next challenge. at Space Camp, they call this the Pamper Pull. And this is your big challenge for today. You're gonna have to climb up 32 feet, grab a blaster, and then hit the target all while being timed. I don't think it's possible, I think this is a joke. The person who can hit any part of the target the fastest will be our winner of this challenge. Now, Jesse, you won the Battlefront 2 Trivia Challenge, so you get to choose who goes first. You get 15 extra seconds, and you get two extra blaster bolts. As you can tell now, that may make a difference. So, who's going first? Violin's going first. <laughs> All right, Violin. That means suit up. OK. All right, Violin, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> All right, your time starts now. You are free to climb, yeah. Island. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a blazing start. Oh, yeah, she's, running. she's running up there. Now, this, this may seem kind of 
different to what, you, to what you'd experience in space. But think about it, this is not just dealing with heights, everything in space is far away, but this is dealing with your capacity to handle fear, right? You're okay. All right, so you got a couple staples left for, to get to the top. My land is now at the top. Oh, I, do. I don't know if I can grab this, guys. You got this, you got this. <laughs> you got two more sets of staples. She's doing okay. Worry about getting on top first. Yeah, my land, so I don't what we got to do is. Oh. Well, land! You got it. I got to the, the, the end of the staples, the last two of the pole, um, where you can like put your feet. And my whole body just freezes up. I don't want to get on top of it. Okay. Nice. Great job. Great job. And finally, I took my leg and held to the, onto the sides of the platform and turned it so my foot was flat and just started like pushing through and hating myself the entire time. It is. You, you got a cop. You got, you got, you got a cop. <laughs> Pull the orange lever. Yep. Pull it back go. as hard as you can. I missed the first one and then I got the second shot. Which I was shocked, I was shocked I got any shots on it. Okay. You did it. Okay. All right, now my land. No, I don't want to. We're gonna get you down, it's okay. Take a deep breath okay. and just step off to your left. Ah. There you go. Yeah. Great job, great job, great job. My land, your emperor would be proud of you. So. Good job. That was amazing. I don't know if that, <laughs> if you wanted to do that, but you did, and you succeeded, and that was awesome. You conquered your fear. How do you feel? I'm uh, really shaky. <laughs> All you have to do is get to the top of the pamper pole and hit the target once. Are you ready? Yes. All right, three, two, one, go. May the force be with me. May the force be with me. I feel really good. I'm not worried about the heights. It's just concentrating on each staple, the higher and higher I get until I reach the platform. Almost to the top now. Making good progress. I reached the platform and I'm not completely sure what to do. She's on top of the pole. Blaster almost on her face. I just, I pull up my feet One foot up. as much as I can. Oh. And then oh. slowly stand up. And then <laughs> the wow. gun is right in front of there my face. Go. She's now standing up. <laughs> but crucially, she has to turn around. But then I can't turn around all the way. I don't think I can actually turn around. Well, there we go, one shot. Miss. And of course I miss. Okay, she's reloaded. She hits it! She did it! I felt so good. And then I just jumped off the platform. Oh! Well, Jesse, you were able to successfully hit the target and now you are firmly in the lead with two wins, including a bonus win. How are you feeling? Great, I can't believe I said that. <laughs> My Lynn, you had a little bit more trouble what gave you so much hardship up there? I'm scared of heights, so... Uh, yeah, that would do it. I don't know, it's a challenge. And speaking of challenges, that is it for us from the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Next episode on Jedi vs. Sith, we are playing with fire, ooh, and taking some new trivia for a spin. Yeah, 